Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have now been a part of our lives for the best part of six months. A lot of people are enjoying these games, with their constant terror raid events, mystery gifts, and patches to try and improve on the game's critiques. Scarlet and Violet have been a blast so far, and has made Pokemon fans even more excited for the DLC releasing both later this year and the beginning of next year. After the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc release, many will wonder the same thing. What is next? For Pokemon. So in this video we will attempt to answer that very question. What will the 10th generation of Pokemon be? Before we start please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave your thoughts and opinions on what you think generation 10 will be. Let's get started. We mentioned the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the introduction of this video, the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. As you can see the theme of the Teal Mask is heavily influenced by Eastern Asian culture specifically China. The clothing that the characters are wearing seem to resemble traditional Chinese clothing. The background from these screenshots shown here also feature what seems to be something that resembles Chinese lanterns. With all of this imagery just from this one screenshot, I think it's safe to say that Game Freak took inspiration from Chinese culture when designing this new region. Another point that could be used to further back this theory is that the treasures of ruin consisting of Wo Shen, Chen Pao, Ting Lu, and Qi Yu seem to all have Chinese inspired names. Now all that is well and good, but let's take a look at some points that kind of sort of really debunk this theory. You may have noticed I haven't mentioned the name of the place where the teal mask will take place. Kitakami. All of my geographers out there will know that Kitakami is also a real world region within Japan, just north of Sendai. We know that other Pokemon regions such as Kanto, Johto, Hoenn and Sinnoh are all based on the regions in real world Japan. Could Pokemon Kitakami also be based on another real world Japanese region? Yes, most likely. However, that's not to say that Game Freak haven't taken inspiration from other cultures to implement in this region. Another point that could be used as a counter argument is that real world China and Japan haven't exactly had the best of relationships throughout history. I won't talk on this point too much as I'm very ignorant to the politics of it all, but what I will say is that making a China based region doesn't seem to be the most favoured move by Game Freak. A brand new Pokemon generation doesn't seem to have the best hopes of being based on China. Well, what other options do we have then? I'm glad you asked. Let's start by looking at real world regions slash countries that have been used in the past by Pokemon. Kanto. Kanto is based surprisingly on Kanto, Japan. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Johto. Johto's geography is based on the Kensai, Tokai and Eastern Shikoku areas of Japan. Hoenn. Hoenn is based on the Kyushu region in Japan. Sinnoh. Sinnoh is based on the Hokkaido region, situated again in Japan. Unova. Unova is actually the very first Pokemon region to be based outside of Japan. It closely resembles the USA, more specifically, New York. Kalos. Kalos is based on real world France. Riri. Alola. This one feels very obvious, but Alola is based on real world Hawaii. Gala. Gala is based on the best country in the world, the UK. <laughs> Paldea. And last but not least is the Paldea region being based on real world Spain. Four of these regions are based on Japan, three are based on European countries, and the other two are based on American states. It would seem probable that Game Freak will want to mix it up, so to speak, when creating their next Pokemon region. This is why people have speculated a different country for the next region to be based on. Australia. G'day mate. Australia would be an incredible country to base the next Pokemon generation on. This biome is a perfect setting for a future game and has iconic cities slash architecture, mythology and history. It could even be combined with New Zealand for more diversity. There are lots of unique wildlife in Australia which are not captured in Pokemon yet, such as a platypus, Tasmanian devil, wombats and of course a genuine adaptation of a kangaroo. Move to the side Kangaskhan. Something to consider when talking about the possibility of a Pokemon region being based in Australia is this image right here. A Reddit user by the name of Brenduke says, there is a picture in the art classroom on the right hand wall of Uluru, a famous mountain in Australia. This classroom obviously being situated in the academy in either Scarlet or Violet. According to the user, the mountain depicted in the painting slash photograph found in one of the classrooms in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet seems to resemble a famous Australian mountain, the Luru. 
Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> now, this could be considered a stretch by some people, but when looking back at previous Pokemon games, we know that Game Freak do tend to hint at future games in the same way. One example is in Pokemon X and Y. You are given some form of totem known as the Strange Souvenir. This was a clear reference to the following generation of Pokemon, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Those games taking place in Alola, which is based on real world Hawaii. So could this image really be hinting at a future region based on Australia? It's very possible given Game Game Freak's track record. Personally, I would love to see an Australian based region. I think it has a lot of potential and it would just be a fun region to travel around, I think. Good eye, mate. There is one more Generation 10 theory that really caught my eye when making this video. Let's turn our focus to one character in particular. Iono. We all know Iono as being this quirky, energetic bundle of fun. They are a character that the player shouldn't really take too seriously outside of battle. However, there is one quote that has piqued my interest. Another Reddit user by the name of Aiden0b states the following. My guess is Italy, based on Iono's stream intro, hello hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. This basically confirms there's an Italy-based region out there somewhere, since otherwise who is she talking to when she says ciao? These are all different forms of greetings from different languages. Three of the languages originate from countries that have already had Pokemon regions based on them. Hello Hello being from Britain, Gala. Hola being from Spain, Aldea. And Bonjour being from France, Kalos. The only greeting that has no correlation to a location in Pokemon is Ciao. Ciao is obviously a greeting used in the Italian language. Now again, this may be considered a stretch by very many of you, which is why I'm only giving it an honourable mention. I just thought it was quite an interesting inclusion from Game Freak and could possibly be a little nod to a future generation. So out of the three possible regions that we've talked about today, what do you think is most likely to happen? Like I said, I would like to put my money on Australia, seeing as, you know, there's a painting in a classroom and, you know, Game Freak likes to do little things like that. It's like very, very subtle. In any case, I'm just excited for what Pokemon has to bring next. Scarlet and Violet are a great stepping stone for Pokemon and it'll be extremely interesting to see what the future brings. I love Pokemon, man. <laughs> well, that is just about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and why not subscribe whilst you're at it. It would mean a lot if you could share this video around with a friend or family member anyone will do even your dog i mean i don't judge <laughs> anyway i will catch you in the next video 